Hey, we've got Jill Sheldon with CMG Financial here to talk about so much going on in the market. Jill, welcome. Thank you guys for having me again. All right, Jill, our clients, our customers, people watching this video, everybody feels like we've got whiplash. I think that's uh, that's been the, the story since January. We knew interest rates were rising. We knew that was going to happen. Nobody's surprised by that. I think it's the volatility at the rate at which it happened. So why don't you kind of bring us up to speed where things are and, and kind of what you think is happening in this market? Absolutely. Well, as you said, it's been um, a bit of a roller coaster. Uh, hopefully most of us had like some form of seatbelt on, so it didn't have too much whiplash. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, as with everything in life, you have to look at it, like step back from the perspective of, okay, we feel it right now because we know what was, but historically, how are we sitting? And we're still in a, a wonderful space. Um, so it's, you know, higher than we're all used to. But at the same point, like I'm a firm believer and you have to find a silver lining in everything, right? So um, from my vantage point, it's it's making sure A, that you as the, the homeowner feel comfortable with what your, where your payment's at, with where interest rates are at now. Um, but the silver lining I'm seeing from my side, and you guys can chime in about this as well, um, is that I don't have clients that are now in double digit competition against, you know, other buyers. So the buyers are definitely still out there, but it is uh, easier to not have to write a contract in the driveway <laughs> as you exit the home. So you have a little bit more choice um, and a, a, a bit more of a shot because honestly, a lot of clients that are feeling the whiplash and are like, ooh, I don't know if I want to buy, they're in kind of a pause mode right now. Um, and the fact of the matter is, if you're comfortable with where your payment is now, it, if, you're in, if interest rates go down in the future, you can always refinance. There's no prepayment penalties. So what is now doesn't have to be forever. And as we've seen multi multitude of times over our lifetime is that we have waves. Okay. And financing okay. is something that can, can certainly happen. Another silver lining being that if you are a buyer out there, maybe trying to go with an FHA or one of those types of loans, those were really, really hard in the marketplace out there. People were just getting gobbled up with cash or conventional with a ton down. So like you said, the silver lining is it is opening it up um, in those ways. And yeah. another idea being, you know, instead of paying so many thousands more over on the price of the home over the appraised value at the time, is you could think of using that money as well if you want to use some of it to buy down your rate. So that's another option. Yeah. yeah I think what you said is, is spot on. And I think the silver lining for buyers, listen, there are less buyers in the marketplace because of course this booted them out a little bit. Of course, 6% interest rates where we're hovering around has an impact on affordability. Uh, so it's less competition. So if you're a buyer, now's a good time. And like Jill said, as rates move up, rates move down, you can always refi. So Jill, where do you see things going for the rest of the year? I will ask you for your crystal ball predictions <laughs> for the rest of 2022. Of course. So the feds have essentially given us a little bit of insight that they are going to continue to go up. Um, they are changing the short-term federal funds rate um, in uh, September and also again in November. That doesn't directly impact mortgage rates percent by percent per se, um, but it does have an indirect impact. So, you know, if you are, are planning on, you know, dipping your toe into buying a house or you're ready to jump in, and this is, this, it's a wonderful time because we know where the future is headed um, and you know what you can lock in now. And we do even have um, new programs and I won't go into like the weeds of it because we would be here for an hour, um, but there are options for some programs now where you can lock your interest rate once you're underwriting approved before you have a contract in place so that you have 45 days to shop and not have to be worried about your interest rate, which is a wonderful addition to uh, some home buyers. That's an amazing That's program. Great. And just so everybody knows, Jill, answer this question then. In the event, the weird uh, uh, anomaly event that the market rate comes down, interest rates suddenly go back down, can those clients float their option back down or is there an option for that? Absolutely. It comes with a one-time float down, which is like icing on the cake. So it's, it's basically the best of both worlds. That's perfect. That makes sense to me to use the lock-in shop if you can. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. When we know we're on a trajectory up, might as well take advantage of that. Yes. Thank absolutely. you for your time, Jill. We appreciate it.
All right, y'all, anything you need, there's contact information from Jill, no matter the medium that you are watching this. Reach out to her for your questions on all things mortgage related. She will definitely direct you in the right path, help you come up with a strategy yes. for home ownership. Reach out to us for all things home market related. Happy right, to connect. Thanks, Jill. Have a great afternoon. You guys too. Bye.